So just to recap, this is the uh, Tradesman, Wil Wilton Tradesman 1750 vise that I cleaned up for my uh, good friend and I made the uh, new jaws for it. Um, you, they're in the past screwy Tuesdays. Um, what was broken was these guys. One was missing and the other one was broken. And it's the pipe jaw, pipe holding jaw, that is down inside here, one on each side. So, I decided I'd make them. You can buy them, and they're not that expensive, but they'd probably be just cast material like these are. And, hey, I'm a home hobbyist and always trying to learn and get better at what I'm doing and, and trying to teach myself. So let me slide this out of the way. So what I did is created a drawing infusion. And then from the drawing infusion, I got myself a set of dimensions and angles and everything. And then I actually, um, well, let me let me backtrack. Uh, let me backtrack. Before I went to Fusion, I did this, and this is taking the part and putting it down in the photocopier like that, so that I can get a, a view of all those steps. From there, I drew perpendicular lines, and then drew. Um, dimensions to get some idea of what what this guy was um, the 70 degree and 26 degree are wrong I, I taught myself as I went on and then I also started writing as you know a list of how I would machine the this part here and how I would do it and you can see I already crossed out this one and I started I said okay one two and three are correct um, one, two, and three is basically um, create the square block, uh, cut out the center, bulk out the center here, and once this, you know, the center is bulked out, bulk bulk out the center, and then drill the hole for the bolt attachment, and then it's ready to start working on the steps. And with that said, I was trying to figure out how I was going to machine these steps. And it's only a three degrees, 87 degrees, 90 degrees, three degrees. But I've got all the dimensions and I've got the side sets and worked out centers um, so that it'll be relatively simplistic to machine. If I had a five axis uh, CNC, you just blow it right out. But yeah, it's gonna be a fun, uh, Fun little build. So from here, I told you I was in fusion. Well, from being in fusion, I ended up draw uh, 3d printing the parts and I 3d printed them so that I could think about how I was going to do the setup on these um, got a, a sign block here and so I've got a pin in it uh, to create the three degrees and so after the blocks are created and the center is taken out and the hole is created then the set this up in the mill and come in and since I know center of here move over cut that step up cut that step up cut that step up cut that I also have to cut this guy over here those are all at the same angle then I'll have to reset up and cut the other steps and should be able to go right through and and cut them so that's uh the fun i'm having um i think it's you know the other night i was uh not kind of going to come out in the shop and i thought to myself 
if I don't go over the setup of how I'm going to do it, um, I'll, I'll be awake all night thinking of all the different various ways. And there's a lot of ways to skin this cat. Um, I've got other sign plates that I have. Um, I've, uh, I've got the vice vices that have the protractor on it. Um, but I think this is going to be the, uh, the cleanest and simplest method of doing it. So we'll bring you along. Well, I've marked up the uh, A2 block. So we'll have uh, one right there and one right there. So we'll take it over to the bandsaw and uh, cut this guy first. Probably cut the long piece off and then split them and then clean them up. You've seen this in my bandsaw before. It, it works great. So we're not going to show bandsawing in, in this uh, in this part of the video. And if you noticed, uh, there's a couple of lines there. Well, Charlie, Charlie was in here and he messed up. But we cleaned up. Well, back from the uh, bandsaw, uh, I thought I'd just a little update. So here's the jaws. So there's where one jaw will be. There's where the other jaw will be. But just to show you that I cut the, the width down on the bandsaw. Of course, I cut the length down and I cut the thickness down. All on the bandsaw with my fixtures. Gotta love it. Really close. And so uh, just setting it up. I'm um, going to put it in the mill. Get the block squared up, um, get it squared up, get it to the proper thickness. I've left left a little, you know, 20 thou or something on all the sides. Get it all cleaned up. Not that it has to be that exacting. It's just the vice jaw here. But um, having fun, and it's always good practice. And then uh, punch the holes. I'll probably split it, size it. And then stack the twos end to end, punch the hole, flip it, punch the hole, and then put the slot in it, get the slot in it, and then it's ready to go on the fixture. So that's the, uh, that's the plan. I don't know what I'll show, but uh, we'll see. Just a quick update. So the block is it's all squared up, and... I still got to part it in the center and then size the blocks and the width. But uh, not showing this, you can watch uh, Tom Terrifics or Tom Terrific Machining. Lots of guys out there to show you how to square blocks up. I'm not the one. Okay, well, the blocks are all squared up. Got both blocks in here. Got to stop in the vise. Just found the edge and the edge with the uh, edge finder. So while the chuck is still in here, I'm going to go ahead and pop the holes in it. Um, that way I don't have to come back and put a chuck back in. And then the next uh, will be putting the slot down the center of the two. Um, again, not going to show you. It's just general milling but just giving you a quick update where I'm at. Well, just a little shot here, milling the slot. Going 50,000 steps to cut on each pass. There's no rush. Happy to turn the car by four feet. Just a, just a quick handheld here, so they're machined, and now they can go into the other fixture. Need to pull them out of here, deburr them, and get them set up. Well, the blanks are all machined, and I've got them in the sign plate here. They've taken the caliper and checked side to side and they're in there nice and straight and they're straight with the fixture here. Used a square. These are the, the jaws that we're replacing right here. Just had them sitting there. So 
you notice I've got some layout over here on this side and it's I need to cut this flat this flat this flat and this flat before I raise the sign plate up for the three degrees and it's backwards from my drawing because when this raises up it takes that to get the steps so um, but right now it's sitting parallel and I, I'm going to go in and machine all of these flats then I'll raise it up to uh, start cutting the teeth on on this and I got to remember to cut that far tooth over here I remember that so we'll get it set up in the mill Thirty thousand steps of cut. Here's a quick update. So I've raised the sign plate up the three degrees and I've already cut this one back step which is that guy right there it's cut right there and now I'm moving forward to start cutting the steps that are all on this side right here and once that's done then I got to turn the whole part around re-pick up the uh, edge with the uh, edge finder so that I can cut those but I thought I'd give you an update where I'm at it's getting there. Okay, getting there. So we got the steps cut on this side of the jaws, along with the one that's back here. So now it's break it down, turn it around, and then go back up the other side. Hopefully you can see that. We'll bring you back. Okay. Just an update. So I have the parts turned around in the sign vise. And now I'm going to come over and start cutting the opposite steps, which would be these guys right here. And one, two, three, four. Getting close to being done here. Let's see how this works out. Okay, just out of the mill, the second sides are cut. You see, I haven't cleaned up anything yet, but they're cut. The next set of steps, and then I've got some more cleanup to do in the mill, but it's getting there. Well, there's the set of original jaws, and these are all machined. Turned out well. But uh, looks good, and then uh, heading for the uh, heat treat oven.